Hi guys, season's greetings, happy holidays. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am in the kitchen and I am experimenting with a brand new recipe. I found this cool recipe on the internet and I'm going to tweak it to my personal preference and hopefully come out with a great holiday dessert. So what I'm making today is eggnog pie. I personally love eggnog. Eggnog is a sign of the holidays to me. And uh, this year Starbucks didn't have their eggnog latte, so I'm bummed about that. And I wanna compensate by creating something eggnog-ish, that's a word. But so anyway, um, this is a brand new recipe. I never tried it before. Uh, like I said, I found it on the internet. It looked cool and I wanna tweak it, make it my own. So um, I've got the ingredients right here. So what it, it entails is eggnog. So I'm using a low fat version eggnog. Any brand will do. I'm getting the Kroger brand. And then a nine inch uh, pie crust. So I'm using a graham cracker pie crust. Uh, Let's see, this is a 3.4 ounce box of instant vanilla pudding mix. I'm, I'm using cinnamon instead of nutmeg because um, I like cinnamon better. So I want to, and I know like eggnog already has nutmeg. So I'm going to put a little bit of cinnamon in there. And um, it called for whipped topping. And I don't like Cool Whip because it has uh, hydrogenated oils, which are really bad for your heart health. So I found this one. So it's True Whip, original whip topping, and it doesn't have any hydrogenated oils. So I'm gonna be using this today for the whip topping. This comes frozen, so it does need to be thawed before using it. And I am going to get fun and I'm going to um, put in a splash of Captain Morgan spiced rum. So this should be fun. This should be exciting to taste the outcome. So um, in preparation for the filling, the crust it needs to be baked a little bit. So I'm going to bake it for 10 minutes, allow it to cool. Also, um, the whipped topping needs to thaw a little bit. So I'm gonna be doing that. And then I will be back at you guys in a few. And um, while you're waiting, if you haven't already done so, please do hit the subscribe button down below. Like, comment, and if you think this recipe is cool, please do share it as well. So um, I'm gonna be baking the pie crust and doing a little preparation, and I'll be back to you in a few. Hi guys, I'm back. I'm ready to prepare the filling now for my eggnog pie. So I'm going to start by placing my vanilla pudding mix into the bowl. And get my eggnog a shake. And it's going to be one and a half cups of eggnog. And uh, um, the other reason why I'm making this recipe is because December 24th is National Eggnog Day. So I'm paying tribute to eggnog with this recipe as well. And I'm going to Put in some cinnamon. My cute little heart-shaped measuring spoons. I'm going to put in a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And a little bit of Captain Morgan. So let's see, 
me here. Then I'll put in like, I don't know. Let me see, let me make sure how much it is. What do you think? I think that's one tablespoon, two tablespoon, oops. Three tablespoons, that's probably a lot. So I put in three tablespoons of Captain Morgan. And we're going to uh, mix this up for two minutes until it starts to thicken. I already feel the uh, pudding getting thicker and then just fold in the whip topping. filling into your prepared pie shell. See how nice and golden it got? my beautiful boozy eggnog pie. I'm gonna let it set in the fridge overnight to chill and to get firm. And then I'll be able to taste test and let you all know how it comes. Hi again. So it's the next day. My boozy eggnog pie has set for a full 24 hours. And now I'm about to try it. So it got all nice and firm in the fridge and it looks good. I actually smell the rum in there coming through. So um, I'm excited to try it. So let me cut a slice. Okay, so I'm about to try a, a taste right now. The rum really comes through, but it makes it adds really adds something. So it definitely gets an A plus for taste. All the flavors are really good. 
the rum really starts shining through the more and more you uh, eat it. If I did take after take of this video, I would kind of be like Lucy with Vita Vita Vegemin. I'm sorry, get, get kind of loopy. <laughs> Just kidding. But uh, anyway, um, so my only critique would be to put it in the freezer before you serve. Not only will it make it easier to slice, but it'll firm up the texture because right now it's it's like a mousse. So all the tweaking that I did worked out really well. So I'm really happy with my new creation. So there you have it. Happy National Eggnog Day on December 24 to y'all. And uh, wishing everybody happy holidays. And until next time, live, laugh, love, and eat. Thank you.